Howdy folks, K1GMM, uh, with hopefully this ties it off, part seven of the TX audio, whatever, DAW, VST, host, master blaster class series. Uh, I had an episode, a mental episode, uh, a couple days ago, I went and lit up uh, the DAW on Cakewalk, and it asked for an update, and I have pretty much had enough of that update crap. Um, what I'm going to show you here is how to get a TXDAW running on VST host. Now, the cool part about VST host, as in the RXDAP and anything else, is that it's a standalone program. It does not install to the computer. You don't have to create a stupid account like you do with Cakewalk and download some dumbass band labs thing and and then download the app and install it and log in and every time it updates you have to log into it so it'll reauthorize the program i've had enough of that crap so what you're looking at right here is the tx audio being processed through vst host the very cool part about vst host is it again it does not install to the computer it runs out of a folder out of a directory and you can run as many instances as you want with VST host, but they have to be run out of separate folders. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the website, uh, the DAW VST downloads page, go ahead and download VST host. It's a pre-configured folder. You want to extract it. It's named differently. So if you're running the RxDAP, when you extract it to the same place as your as the other folder, if it's, if you're running the VST host DAP, it's going to be named different. They must be named two different things, right? So uh, it's going to come in preloaded, assuming you have installed all of your VST plugins to a directory. And if you haven't, you need to do that first, blah, blah, blah and go up to file right when vst host opens go up to file right here and set the plugin path this is where you tell it you can click this button right here and navigate to the path where all your vsts are boom hit okay that's done and also do a rescan so if you go back to file uh you can do uh fast rescan plugins i always try that first or you can do a rescan plugins let it do its thing let it scan it should find everything and then when you click the drop down, you're going to select TXDAW when it opens. Everything should open up the way you see it here. Super simple. Now let me go through a couple things. Uh, first, regarding VST host, and then I'll show you connectivity. So this is all preloaded. Uh, I did preset some important things on a few plugins, like the Brit Presser here. I set the modern exciter to what I call neutral. And I pre-configured the modern expander as a downward expander for you. Of course, you got your output drive. Don't forget, don't forget to set your output drive levels, inputs and outputs everywhere. Make sure nothing clips. Uh, the threshold should be the only thing you'll need to touch right here. All right, and the ambience reverb plugin, I set this up for you the only thing you'll probably need to touch is the time and the size maybe the pre-delay uh if you don't like it you can go ahead and fuss with it it's no big deal of course right and i set the wet uh to about here you may want to adjust this to get the reverb just right uh but go ahead and play with that but it's in the gate is not configured the eq will not be configured it's going to be flat all right so what I did was I placed the engine input right here. That's the input drive to all the plugins. And this is the engine output. This is dri the drive to all, uh, to wherever it's going. Now you're gonna say to me, where is it going? Here you go. This works exactly the same way as the other videos I described how you set up a DAW with Banana. Right, so your input on Banana, you need your hardware input and hardware output set. If you're running the RxDAP, you're going to need to set, if you're running an SDR like I am, you want to run an ASIO, you need to set your hardwood, hardware output to your card, wherever your microphone is plugged into. If you're running just one card, I'm not going to get into a dual card setup. It's exactly the same way as, as, if, as if you're running Cakewalk. 
So you can go back in and watch those videos. All right. Uh, set your hardware out. If it's an ASIO card, preferably it is. Set it there. A2, I have set to line one virtual audio cable, which if you remember, you, you will need to run the RXDAP, you will need one virtual audio cable. Uh, set A2 to that cable. Now on an SDR like this, or flex or none or whatever, you, I'll show you how to set this up. Uh, your DAW is going to communicate through the voice meter aux. So, of course, in your hardware input, you want to activate B2. Make sure you got deflection on the meter. And click on B1 if you're running a full-blown SDR. Don't ask. I don't know why. On the Anon, it will not pass audio without B1 hot. And banana, I always turn on B1 anyways. To directly monitor your audio, you want to check, uh, click on A1, which will enable you to hear yourself in cans of your processed audio as you're working on it, all right? Make sure your speakers are turned down. Okay, over here on voice meter VIO, this is the, gonna be where your output of your transceiver view, your receive audio is coming into right here. So you wanna click on A2, which remember we set A2 to your cable, your virtual audio cable. And really quick, let me pop open this screen. This is your RXDAP. If you're not running this, forget this part. Of course, you wanna set your devices, wave, I have it set to the output of my card, MME, and line one virtual audio cable. That picks up the output of the cable, sends it into VST host, and it's spit back out processed to your card. Make sure your sample rates are all set appropriately, and I mean everywhere, okay? Uh, covered that in one of the previous videos, one of the last two. That ties that off. Now, what happens is when you click on A2, it will send your audio from the radio into the cable and it'll send the cable over to VST host and it'll be spit out to your card. Okay, that's done. Hopefully I explained it clear enough. Now. Okay, let's get banana out of the way. Oh my God. I keep getting these spam phone calls, guys. I'm sorry. It's uh, really annoying. I'm just, I should shut the phone right off. Anyways, let's get over to the other screen. Okay, this is Sun SDR2 DX. Uh, this will be the same for others as far as setting up like a, an ICOM 7300 or anything that uses a you know, USB audio codec. Go to one of the previous setup videos uh, for the TXDAW running banana. And it's going to be the exact same settings, except you're using VSC host. So what was set in Cakewalk under edit preferences, as far as your sound card and the input output devices, it's the exact same thing in VST host. Okay. Um, so find the video that is in regards to setting up different, the different transceivers. Can't remember which one it is. All right, first thing you want to do, and this is applicable to a lot of different radios, you want to set your inputs and outputs to ASIO versus voice meter virtual ASIO. Voice meter virtual ASIO in the drop down here, you'll see ASIO virtual, voice meter virtual ASIO. Holy crap. All right, and it will get the communication going with banana. So as you see the meter move, this is communicating with VST host, the processing the TS audio, T, TX audio, and this is in turn passing it to the input of your transceiver. Okay, that's done. Of course, what you wanna do is you wanna set your mic input on this particular transceiver to mic PC. You're done. That's it. So what I'm gonna show you now, Of course, this is the TX being processed by VSC host. And let me get to this one. This is the RX side. So if I kick on the RX. Man, I am to Lighthouse and Lightship Weekend as an operator for Swans Island. So it's going to be a totally different op. Okay. So we got TX audio blasting through. Check it again. Enemy. 
Yep, came through. So uh, what I'm gonna show you now is when I key up the transceiver, I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm gonna place VST host in the pass-through. So you will hear the audio, make sure the rig is on. The lighthouse, because what? Let me go to a clear frequency, output drive is zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to key the rig and you'll hear the audio coming from being processed by the VST host on the TX side, pass to the radio and then pass back out through banana and then out into the card, out of the output, into the card and then out to my headphones and OBS. All right. I want to make sure I don't blow my head off here. So I'm going to turn the volume down. Test, Test one, two. two. Check, check. Audio. One, two. Sorry about that. I forgot to mute the microphone in OBS. So let me mute this and then we'll... Test one, two. Audio. Sierra. Sierra. K1 and GMM. Audio. All right, that's it, folks. That is VST host. Let me get back over to the other screen. Runs like a champ. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Uh, what you can do is don't forget, to, uh, because it's gonna go to, you're gonna have two folders on the desktop, right? Don't know if I showed you this yet, but I can't remember. This is the third try through this video. So I'm going to just, if I did, my apologies. I'm going to recap this. Uh, open each folder. So you'll see I have VST host TX, VST host RX. They must be named differently on the desktop. You cannot drag two VST host folders to your desktop. It's not going to work. It's going to ask to change the name of one of them, which is fine. Go ahead and change the name. So what you want to do is open each folder and you want to go to this application file right here, VST host. You want to right click on it and pin it to the taskbar. Mine's already pinned. You want to do that for both of them. Now I have my, and I drag them and I have them grouped together right here. So this is my TX audio. Don't try to rename those. They will go into the taskbar as two independent application shortcuts this makes it easy so you can just go down and click on it and bang it'll open this is the rx side so if i click on this there you go there's my rx side come up here select the select the rx side um in the drop down and boom we're off and running all right hope this helped and uh, just just in closing, the only thing I would like to say is uh, if you if anybody out there has found this valuable or helpful, I'm trying to do this on the cheap side. This is all free stuff. This TX uh, VST host, the plugins, they're all free. You don't have to pay for any of it. It's beautiful, right? But that being said, I have and I'm not begging. I'm just offering it to anyone. If you have any desire, if you found only if you found it helpful and beneficial and you're using it, if you find it in the kindness of your heart to donate anything, I don't care uh, just to keep this project going, keep development going. Um, I'd much appreciate it. It would be a huge help. I have thousands of hours into this. I'm supposed to be outside working on the truck this morning and I decided to do this instead because it's so beneficial to you guys and to myself as well. It's been great. Um, my email is good on QRZ. My address is good on QRZ. You can just jump on there and send a personal check of any amount. Don't care. Whatever it is. Uh, would be a huge help. Not required. This will always stay free. Always. So don't, you never have to worry about me pulling the plug on this stuff. 7-3 guys, much, much appreciate uh, all the support. You guys help uh, the subscribers and the viewership keeps me going. And I can tell you that the site is getting pummeled. 
Uh, it's up, uh, oh, it's been hit over 200 times in just the past few days. So I know people are finding this stuff helpful, which is the reason why I do it. We'll see y'all later. 7-3, this is K1GMM. Steve, I'm out.